Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 17 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Alan Brown. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Joban. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice one, two there. Joban gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Big kick land. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Unable to connect there. And he landed the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Up. Up. 
beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counterattack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Right hand upstairs. Big leg kick lands. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Just out of range with that uppercut. Oh, that's a good right hand. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Joe Vance lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice move to punch. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Just missed with the left there. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Nice punch there. They continue to exchange. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Well, you saw his reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Joe Band's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Just a slip there. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, that's a nice strike. Seconds left. Throws the right hand there. Out of range with that one. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Trying to establish that jab once again. Leg kick. That strike will count. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter. The man put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. 
Ooh, head kick lands and is hurt. Nice straight punch. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Jobin. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, and he caught the kick. And there comes the separation now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Joban's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. up the pace here in round two much more aggressive than we saw in round one and now starting to find himself in the pocket you gotta check these low leg kicks swing and a miss by Jobin Nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, blocks the shot. Let's go. Nice punch land over the top. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Drop the leg. Just misses there with the left. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Let's go. I need you to be first now. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Good punch. with that jab doubles up on it now just out of range with that right hook oh bleeding from his cheek now damage done well it's one thing to have length it's another thing to use it and he does it as well as anyone nice kick there by Jobin try to establish that jab like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes he is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on got to be careful here though not to gas out look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick oh nice straight left there and he's looking for that left hand just missed very tricky when he throws that body kick Good stick. Checks the leg kick. And the horn sounds on round two. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed, scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. 
All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power. And even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going during this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Beautiful. What a punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Stay strong. Stay strong. Keep All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Guys, really throwing with authority. Slip and counter by Chobe. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Shot to the body is blocked. Straight punch lands. Just over three minutes to go. Mixes. Oh. It's blocked. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Oh man, that cut not in a good place. And it's not getting any better. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter. Take the judges out of it. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Choban. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Joe Van gets caught by that straight hand. Let's focus. Let's focus now. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Head kick. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. And they separate. Tags him with the left. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Beautiful punch. Big leg kick lands. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Punch is blocked. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Nice. But 
watch him prove defensively as he blocks the shot. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have the Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more Ready? of the same? And Ready? by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Can't take many of those, you better check. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Punch over him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. There's the kick. It's blocked. Joban gets stung by that leg kick. Great punch landing with so much power. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Trying to double up on that jab. Beautiful strike. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches and bunches? Punches and bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. He gets a turtle in that kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab, is something you can't really prepare for. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks tonight in that left thigh now starting to show signs of bruising. That's a big strike right there. Stuff as he counters with that right hand. Just missed with the straight left hand. Got clip with the right hand. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there, but as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's gonna pay the price there to the body. Gotta be careful. You don't wanna eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. Ooh, big shot lands. Another shot lands upstairs. And just misses with that big right hand. Left hook counter there yet again. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. 
sound defensively blocks the shot. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. How good is that right hand? Big and kick. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice shot to the body there. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Big power shot there. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. And, man, these guys still look fresh as if they haven't even started fighting tonight. Pretty impressive. Both of them have a huge reputation for being fit fighters, and it shows in the way they're approaching round number two. Big punch land. Ooh. Right hand upstairs. Another strike to the head land. He blocks the punch. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Big kick lands. Oh. Tags him with the left. We show you the head strikes. Oh man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. Nice punch, man. Throwing that jab, no good. High cross, baby, high cross. Well placed kick there by Jobe. Nice defense there, huge block. Excellent jab. Beautiful hit kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Just misses with the straight left hand. Big kick land. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Plus right hand is true. Blocks the shot. Straight right hand, no good. That yeah, right hand hurt him a little bit. Circling towards the left now. Connects with a right. Hands, hands. Big go, punch lands go. through the middle. You got this, okay? You got it. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Chobe. Caught that kick there. Joban's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. And that one certainly found the target. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Misses with that. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there. I mean, that's his game, though. You think the punches are coming. He throws kicks and then he lands his beautiful flying knee right up the middle. Alright, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water. Right there as he lands it. Maybe time to get.
get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Good punch, Lance. So we go under a minute to go in the fight. The right hook to the body. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Tags him with the overhand. What a body kick. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Brock Lesnar! All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to lose.